guys, welcome back to Red Travel with me, Steph. This week we're heading to Dublin. We're starting the day high up and we're going to be doing the skyline in Croke Park. We're then heading to Dunleary to try stand up paddle boarding with the guys from Big Style. We're ending the day with a tasty treat at Butler's Chocolate Factory. In the second half of the show, we're going to be going to Canada and we're going to be exploring the adventure capital of the world, Whistler. So, welcome to Red Travel. What better place to do an interview than the top of Croke Park here on the skyline and we're joined with Lee. So Lee, do you want to tell us a little bit about the skyline here? Yeah, so obviously we're on the roof of Croke Park and um, we run tours on the skyline on the half hour every hour. So we start at 10.30 in the morning, it's 11.30, 12.30, all the way up until half three. Tours last 90 minutes um, and you get some breathtaking views of Dublin. So people probably think, oh you're on the roof of Croke Park, this is terrifying, I don't know if I can do it. It's not designed to be scary, it's designed to be really exhilarating. Yeah. We've got five platforms as we go around and we get to show you different views of Dublin. So you, out this way you've got, we've got the views towards uh, the sea and the harbour. You've got Dublin City over to our right and then you can see way out west out to Glass Nevin Cemetery. Sure, as soon as you look out you forget how high up you are, yeah. it's just amazing. And if someone was to do this tour, how much is it and how do they book? We take all of our bookings online and prices vary. So for adults it's 20, students and OIPs are 18 children are 12 but then we do family discounts as well so a family of four two adults two kids is 52 euro and then family of five two adults three kids is 60 euro good. it's a real experience like it's something really good to do and it's something for the bucket list i think absolutely like and you know when else to get to stand on the roof of croke park you know like the views you get from up here if you could be up here on a match day it'd be different it'd be incredible but fortunately we can't i suppose you have other tours going on as well and other events taking place so do you want to fill us in a bit about those with the skyline we do other other events throughout the year so at the moment we're actually running yoga on skyline on saturday mornings okay. for four weeks or six weeks we have yoga classes up on up on platform number five over here in the wintertime we do we do dusk tours, so as the sun is setting, you get a view of Dublin as the sun is setting. We also do stadium tours, um, so that'll bring you the backstage pass of, uh, of the stadium. Dressing rooms, players' lounge, pitch side, um, and obviously with your skyline or your stadium tour, that includes access to the museum. Um, we've got a lot of Cork memorabilia in there, Chrissy Ring's medal <laughs> collection, yeah. <laughs> Chrissy Ring's medal collection, Jack Lynch's, and then uh, yeah, lots of Cork memorabilia in there for you guys. And I suppose getting here is a big thing. So a lot of our followers will be from Cork. So how do you get here? So we have free parking um, just outside the Cusack stand. You, know, you Cork people get here a lot, so I'm sure you know <laughs> where the Cusack stand is. Um, if you come down Clonliffe Road and turn there, there's security and the, you know, there's a free car park. If you're not getting here and you're getting the train up, if the train leaves at Houston Station, what I'd recommend to do is get to Lewis to Connolly and then you could walk from there. It's a 10, 15 walk from the, from the city. Or alternatively, there's number 123 bus from Guinness Storehouse that'll bring you here as well. Fair but we're, we're a short distance from, from the city centre when you're walking there. So we continue our tour and have a have another look at the amazing views. Yeah, let's bring you around. Brilliant. For more information on the Croke Park tours, head over to croakepark.ie forward slash GAA Museum Tours. To our next location now and we're heading out on the water doing stand-up paddle boarding in Dunleary. So Chris, you're going to take us out today. So what are we going to be doing and where will we be going? Okay, well we're going to be exploring Dunleary Harbour here in uh, South County Dublin. Uh, we're going to be going out along the edge of the West Pier here and uh, having a bit of an explore. 
perfect flat water spot to learn how to paddleboard because it can be quite tricky at first to get to stand up and everything and uh, it's a really cool place to explore it's um, 200 years old we'll spend about two hours in the water uh, exploring the whole harbour brilliant i'm really looking forward to that and if someone was to come and do this tour how much would it be a lesson is 35 euro for two hours um but after a lesson you can rent a paddleboard for an hour and a half for 20 euro um and we do other things outside of the harbour once you've learned how to stand a paddleboard you can paddleboard the Liffey in the centre of Dublin with us or you can go out and explore the islands off the uh, off the coast perfect so once you've got your balance <laughs> you get your sea legs <laughs> so then if you're booking do you book online or how do you book uh, you book through bigstyle.ie yeah you just go with the three sections there's kite surfing adventures and paddleboarding you just go to paddleboarding and uh, find your time that you want to do it and uh, book with us we'll take you out and you mentioned a few other activities there as well. So you do yeah. a range of them? We do. We do. Uh, we were originally a kite surfing school. Uh, kite surfing, it's where you strap yourself to a kite and get dragged around by the wind. To try it. <laughs> uh, something else. Like This is a bit more accessible. But um, kite surfing was originally and then uh, the wind uh, isn't always there. So we branched into paddleboarding and a few other things. And now we do kite surfing. Um, we actually bring people to the west of Ireland, to Mayo, to our hostel. And uh, we uh, explore Dublin and every way imaginable and we even go abroad in the winter to Africa kite surfing stand up paddleboarding so it's good lots of different lots of different things going on and you're based at the moment in Dunleary uh, well our base is actually in Grand Canal Dock in Ringsend uh, but uh, our stand up paddleboard school is in Dunleary yeah so we're out here and that's just it's about 15 minute drive south of Dublin city so will we get out on the water let's go in the water perfect <laughs> So it was time to head out on the water to find my balance. We had a great time exploring on our suck boards and we even met a curious harbour seal along the way. For more information on stand-up paddleboarding and all the activities the guys do at Big Style, head over to bigstyle.ie. So we're here in Butler's Chocolate Factory and it definitely is the tastiest stop of the day. So we're here with Lauren now. So Lauren, do you want to fill us in? At the moment, we're on the experience tour. So do you want to fill us in what that entails? So we're on the experience tour today. So we start off like ourselves. We get a nice jacket, a nice blue hairnet. <laughs> All the accessories yeah. now. <laughs> so we're, li we're like chocolatiers now. So we'll start off up in our cinnamon and we will see how chocolate is made. So where it came from and then how butlers came about. We'll then head into our museum where we'll all be getting a little quiz sheet. So just really on everything that we've heard in the uh, movie. And then along the walls, we've got all of our information for you to find out. After that, we're going to head out onto our balcony. So this is the most fun part. When you get out, you get the smell, you get the aroma of everything. You'll see how all of the chocolates are made. So we'll see our fudge, our handmade chocolates, our deposited, extruded, molded line, bars, chocolates, everything. You see exactly Exactly how they're made, decorated and how they're packaged. And if someone was to do this tour, yeah. firstly I suppose how much is it and how do they book? So they have to book online in advance and they save themselves a 5% discount when they book online. So it's 30 and 50 per ticket usually but then when they book online with a 5% discount and then the family is 50 or else uh, 47.50 when they book online. And you must be sure to book just in advance. Yeah, because like we do, we have birthday parties, school tours, like we cater for all of that kind of stuff as well. So by you booking in advance, you're guaranteed your spot. And you have a gorgeous cafe downstairs as well. It's so a fabulous cafe. So once you get all this chocolate experience done, you're always going to be in the humour for a nice coffee, hot chocolate, or signature hot chocolate especially. Um, so you'll go downstairs and you can even get a nice sandwich and have a nice coffee and stuff to relax and unwind after the madness of chocolate. Well, you can't ever have enough chocolate, no, so it's always yeah. a good idea. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. And it really is the perfect outing for kids and big kids like and me. Kids, yeah. yeah, so everyone enjoys it. It's really, and it's really like close as well. Like we're close to the M50 and we've got easy bus routes and we're about five miles from the city centre as well. So it's Very all really, accessible. yeah. And we've got complimentary parking. So it's really good. There's no excuse though. So. No <laughs> excuse not to come, exactly. Brilliant. Brilliant, and we're gonna make some now, are we? We're gonna make some chocolates now.
First up, we got to see how the tasty orange crunch chocolates are made. Lauren made it look so easy. One, two, three. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're good. Mm. And they're orange crunch. It was then time for me to become a chocolatier and give it a go and decorate some love hearts. So this is kind of the final part of the tour and I'm going to decorate my elephant here. Yeah, so this is the final and most favourite part of the tour really, yeah. especially for all the little kitties, like you can see. Chocolate everywhere. They've even got some white chocolate to start painting with. So brilliant! And is it always elephants? Do you have elephants all year round? We actually cater for different uh, times of the year, so different occasions. So we, at Halloween, we'd have pumpkins. Christmas time, we've Santa Claus and a special guest of Santa's appearance. And um, also at Easter, Easter Bunny, our main and favorite guests, would come to the factory. And we'll do a little egg hunt outside for the kids. Well, I love buying my Easter eggs down in the butleries in Cork. I love the pumpkin street. It's all been made here in this one factory. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Everything is made in the one place and you pay, you've cafes and shops all around the world. So to become a chocolatier for the day, head over to butlerschocolates.com forward slash book. So it's the time of the show that we head abroad. So this week we're heading to Canada and we're going exploring the adventure capital of the world, Whistler. If you've any top tips or favourite destinations, be sure to share a photo or a video with us over on our Twitter, Instagram or Snapchat at Red Travel Show and we will pick some of our favourites to feature on the show. This week it's all about Canada. We recently spent some time travelling and exploring the beautiful Vancouver. In this episode we wanted to focus on a place that has been given the name as the adventure capital of the world, Whistler. So you can kind of guess why we wanted to go check it out. We got up early to make the most of the amazing drive from Vancouver to Whistler, a drive of a lifetime along the Sea to Sky Highway. It's a short 75 mile drive from Vancouver and one of the most scenic routes in the world. En route to Whistler, we met a local who told us about the Ski to Sky gondola in Squamish. Squamish is en route to Whistler and their Ski to Sky gondola is a local favourite. It looks a little high, but it looks like so much fun also, so we can't wait. We spent the morning going up the gondola in Squamish and exploring the beauty all around. You can go up in the gondola and go for a walk or even a hike, rock climbing, mountain biking, snowshoeing, mountaineering and much more. At the top we explored the trails and went on some treks while enjoying the beautiful scenery. We also took a leap of faith and crossed the suspension bridge. We just crossed the suspension bridge at the very top with breathtaking views all around. For discounted tickets book online. Adult tickets are $39.95, youth are $24.95 and children are $13.95. For more information on ticket prices and information, head over to ski to sky We then headed on to Whistler. Whistler is north of Vancouver and home to the world of ski enthusiasts. With more than 8,000 acres over two mountains, Whistler and the Black Home. It is the largest ski area in North America. It co-hosted the 2010 Winter Olympics. We paid a visit during the summer months and trust me, we weren't short on activities to do outside of the main ski season. So we're here in Whistler, which is an hour from Vancouver and it really is adventure capital of Canada. It's unbelievable. There's so much to do here. Behind me here is one of the 
the biggest mountain, Blackpool Mountain, where all the mountain biking is going on at the moment. And then it turns to a ski slope in the winter months. So many adventures here. There's whitewater rafting, there's quad biking, there's zip lining, mountain biking, the list is endless. So it's going to be very hard to pick just a few adventures to go on here. We decided to go on some ATVs up the Blackcomb Mountain with Canadian Wilderness Adventures. So we're here with Canadian Wilderness Adventure and we're about to go ATVing up the mountains in Whistler. Here we go. If I can get this on. <laughs> Okay, cost <laughs> After finally getting the helmet and glasses set, it was time to head up the mountain. We explored wide mountain trails ascending to the Blackcomb's beautiful alpine, and we even saw a bear or two in the wild. Enchanting forested trails and flowering meadows were all around us as we climbed up into the Blackcomb mountain. It was an experience of a lifetime. The tour takes two hours and costs 129 for a driver, 89 for a passenger, and kids under 12 are free with one paying adult. The adrenaline, the thrill, and the views made me glad I stepped outside of my comfort zone. For more information and to book, head over to canadianwilderness.com. So that's it for this series of Red Travel. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did making it. Stay tuned for Series 2 launching soon. Get peace of mind with low-cost AIG travel insurance plus 10% discount online.